Hello friends and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl Jazzy J here on the mic and of course this is Earth Vibes Tarot, your favorite Capricorn only channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to jump right into a general message reading for those that are looking for one. You guys listen, lots of changes, lots of energy going on here so let's just jump right in, right? You guys, I don't want to I want to ball you. Show us what we need to see here, please. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You feel like you may be at a crossroads here. Maybe feeling like you're at a crossroads. Time to make a decision, a full decision. Maybe about how you feel about where you want to go. So you have a leg up. <laughs> Number 34, breaking down to a seven. Receiving assistance here, spiritual assistance, especially during this time of transition and during this time of growth. Capricorn, bottom of the deck is higher power number four so definitely receiving a lot of again spiritual physical assistance during your journey um almost helping guide or lead you where you need to go there's a part of this of being open and embracing this energy and this could be you know, through through a particular energy of chaos or confusion that you may be going through. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So receiving help, delegating authority or interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer an option for you. Life has a way of presenting you with perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence of commingle, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I hate myself. Allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. And now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor who has been where you want to go to help you get there. If you do, you will receive a very good counsel that will aid in your prosperity. It may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you are in a position where you just can't do it yourself anymore. Time to bring on those who can give you a leg up. Trust that help is available and it will indeed appear. Delegate authority to others so you can take steps towards your big dreams. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time so long as you step forward with just a mustard seed of faith. Everything will arrive in the time that you need it, Capricorn. And I feel like this is about these new people, these new energies that are coming into your life that are bringing this energy to you here. So let's go ahead and see. this energy of a light up. And this is going to bring in new relationships. This is going to bring in new connections. This is going to bring in people that make you feel like you are at home, new forms of stability, right? New energies of community. Mm. I've got the High Priestess first card out. What is your intuition telling you? I feel like a lot of this is starting to happen internally before it happens physically. And a lot of you are being asked 
to really connect with your higher guides at this time as well. Show us what we need to see, Holy Spirit, as it relates to this energy of a leg up for Capricorn. got the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles there are new energies of community that are coming in here new energies of people that you are going to be building with this also means that you are breaking down energies of people that you used to build with that you used to commune with because your needs are changing here capricorn and that's okay and you have the nine of swords the five of pentacles and the ten of cups because sometimes it's like okay the things and the energies that once made you happy no longer do and it's time for you to really be open to these new forms of energies and these new forms of community And I feel like a lot of you are going to be experiencing this in the form of expansion in your family, expansion in your home. Look at this. We have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Ace of Pentacles. Very strong, very powerful energy coming in here. I do feel like for a lot of you, there could be a very strong masculine energy or masculine presence that comes into your life. This person is offering you some sort of new physical or prosperous um, financial type of opportunity here. And I feel like, again, with the High Priestess, this is really asking you to connect to your higher guides about this because you guys may even be situated in a position where you are coming together with someone who is introducing you or inviting you into this, this community, inviting you into this energy of home. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and Justice. Wow. Wow. You don't realize how happy you're going to be when this energy comes into your life, Capricorn. You really, really don't. And I feel like a part of this is going to be acceptance of this help, acceptance of this assistance, because this leg up energy, it's really hard to be in the position of acceptance when you are always in the position of the giver. And that doesn't mean financially, it doesn't mean just physically, it doesn't mean just emotionally, it's in, it's in all forms. And it can really be hard to finally receive that energy. But Ace of Wands, the moon, again, there's a very unexpected and exciting energy that ends up coming to your life, takes you by surprise, literal surprise, the, the moon and the Ace of Wands. It's like, ta-da, like, hello. A very exciting energy and this energy is really giving you an, a, a leg up this is giving you this form of um, assistance here seven of cups Tell us a little bit about the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Spirit. I'm going to switch decks. Tell us a little bit about the Seven of Cups here, please, Spirit. The Hierophant. The Six of Pentacles. And the five of wands. It's really challenging your perspective here 
a perspective that you've had for a long time, okay? And it's trying to get you to open up and to see life a little bit differently. It's challenging your perspective, a perspective that you've had for a long time, Capricorn. It's challenging your perspective here. Let's dive into this a little bit more. Tell us about this King of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles. Tell us about this energy that is coming, charging into Capricorn's life. Tell us about this energy. We've got the Three of Wands, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, and we've got the Lovers. So definitely going off on a new adventure, this is, it just feels like something that you've asked for. Um, you have everything that you need, the experience, the, the wear all Capricorn, you have what you need in order to make this happen, in order to accomplish this, in order to be ready for this, right? And I almost feel like you've been planting your seeds, waiting for this to grow, and it finally does. And it's coming in the form of love. It's coming in the form of emotion. You're gonna have to take a chance on this. And I feel like you know this inherently. Um, and again, with it coming out of nowhere, you're just going to have to really be honest with yourself with what it is that you're, with what it is that you want and what it is that you're looking for, right? And be honest with yourself when this opportunity comes in, knowing that it may not look or appear or come to you how you have in your brain. But there is love here. There is emotion, and there is a there is an opportunity for something so spectacular to happen. And this is you and another person, and this is a choice that you get to make. And the way that it comes in. There may be some distance as well between you and this person. Physical distance. Um, and it may not be a long ways, but I do feel like there is physical distance between you and this person. And there we have the true pair. The Queen of Pentacles. So this is going to be the one that you are possibly going to romantically be with if you don't already have a partner. Um, and if you do already have a partner, this is definitely big business partner energy, you know, coming into someone that may lift your business up physically. The Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. Somebody has got to let this shield down. And it's the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles has got a emotional shield up. Like, no, leave me alone. We've got the world, the moon in reverse and justice. This person is showing you everything. Absolutely everything. About yourself, especially if you're resonating with this Queen of Pentacles. It's about letting your guard down. Let your guard down.
the way they see you is absolutely as an immaculate being. But this heart is on ice. You can have exactly what you want. Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Death. Four of Wands. But you have to let yourself be open to this. There's something so spectacular that wants to come in. And it comes in the form of... wanting to build, wanting to create the moon. The Empress. There's a lot of hidden energy going on here. Death and the Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you don't see something coming. Something is covered in the shroud of business or work emotions are being built up But things aren't being revealed until later. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like somebody is hiding what they want until the perfect moment. There's an intense moment that happens between the two. I almost just like seeing like an animation happening here. And there's an intense moment that happens between two people and it literally changes the timeline right then and there. And it's a part of this magic that's going on because this person is too very intuitively inclined let's close this out Closing this out here for Capricorn, please, Spirit. We're closing this message out for Capricorn, please, Spirit. So here we go on the Queen of Pentacles. Fear, darkness, hesitation, insecurity. Know that you're protected. You're being led exactly to where you want to be. We have denial and the chaser. In pursuit, convincing, rejection, and then we have repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. So if you're still dealing with these deep emotions of acceptance and allowance, this goes back to previous relationships, right? and the yearning and the craving.
take some time to work through those emotions here, Capricorn, as it will allow you to deal with accepting new love into your life. I'm going to leave this here. I hope you found this insightful and that it resonated. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon.